You shall not borrow. What if I told you the Bible says you shall not borrow? That was that was God's word to God's people. Welcome back to the Ministry Podcast. This is episode number 41. It is Monday and uh, it's June 9th. And I want to share with you guys uh, a little something about debt. What do you guys think about debt? Uh, I just said the Bible says you shall not borrow. Where do I get that? In Deuteronomy 15.6. It says, as he promised you, and you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. All right, so if you put that in a little context, uh, God is talking about how God's people will be blessed. And uh, again, if you read in uh, Deuteronomy 28, 12, again, it says, <clears throat> you will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow. Um, <clears throat> there are different views about what a believer should or should not be doing with their money. And uh, it can be kind of controversial uh, because uh, generally the, it's an accepted form of uh, financial planning is, is borrowing. Uh, I recently uh, borrowed money for this car that I'm sitting in and, uh, you know, had to pay the, the uh, interest on the money that I borrowed. And, uh, you know, as I was paying for it and people uh, get 30 year mortgages, 15 year mortgages on their homes. And it's an accepted form of uh, doing business, and and uh, businesses do uh, you know borrow large quantities of money. Some people have revolving credit lines. Credit cards are very common. And so, what do you think God says about that? I know that Jesus says that uh, you know you can't serve two masters. You can't serve both God and money. And that is one of the big parts of and a conviction that really God placed on my heart about debt in general and uh, really made me want to lean towards paying off anything that I owed. Uh, we had to deal with school loans. Uh, we had to deal with uh, medical bills. We had to deal with uh, this car payment. And, uh, you know, of course, every other bill on top of that, and like, uh, uh, you know, just random things uh, like, you know, buying new tires for the vehicle or uh, you know, a, a new uh, laptop that we, we bought if we were to put that on uh, a credit card. And, uh, you know, bills can add up very quickly. And so what is what does the Bible say about that? And I just want to share with you guys the way I felt led, you know, in my own life and uh, what God, I feel like uh, he called me to do. There's a, a guy that I talked to, um, is a friend of the family. His name is, is Paolo Botari. And he uh, has got a book called um, free in Christ. And, and it's, uh, it's a pretty good book. He's, he's a awesome uh, man of God. And he, uh, mentioned to us before, uh, about debt, how, and that's the thing that really caught my attention is he says, you can't serve two masters. And if you have debt, you're living your life and your job and your whole purpose is to basically pay that debt. And how can you serve and, you know, your major function in life being, you know, to pay those bills and serve God at the same time, it's kind of hard. And I know that uh, it just, you know, really resounded with me. And, and as I prayed about it, I really felt like the Lord was leading me to uh, not hang on to debt. And it's really guided uh, my life. And, and, you know, from that point, really, um, I tried to do whatever I could to put money towards our bills and, uh you know, and, and thank God uh, I was given a, a, a job opportunity, the job that I'm at now, and actually going to go back to very shortly. Uh, <clears throat> and I was able to pay off in, in about eight months. We paid off uh, over $20,000 worth of debt. And, and it's because we decided, hey, this is something we're going to do, something we're going to be serious about. And it's something that I believe that uh, if you ask for help, God can show you ways to do. And uh, Dave Ramsey is a very popular a uh, guy that talks about the debt snowball that uh, he, he actually kind of made popular. It's It's been around for a very long time. But uh, if you just, you know, Google uh, debt snowball, you can find out how he, he uh, outlines how to become debt free. And there's no tricks to it. It's basically you pay off your, your loans and you just have to decide this is what I'm going to do. And, uh, you know, thank God that uh, my two vehicles are paid for, um, you know, the generally. Uh, I'm not saying we don't get like thousand dollar bills from time to time, but uh, what I'm able to do now is because I have cash set aside is, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and pay with a credit card. And then, um, you know, over a couple of uh, pay cycles, 
just pay off the balance, you know, and so that I have zero debt uh, from month to month. There's, you know, zero debt that I have to deal with. And, and it's an awesome feeling. I don't have to worry about it. Tomorrow, actually, I'm going to be going to Alaska and it's a trip that's been paid for. You know, I uh, I get to take a vacation and, and it's an awesome thing to not have to worry about debt. So what do you guys feel about it? Where do you think, you know, God has led you in your life and, and what are some of the challenges that you, you might face? Um, having you know to get rid of debt or living without debt i want to hear from you so please uh, email me at marco the ministry podcast.com or you can uh, visit us on facebook on youtube on tumblr on twitter and you know let us know what you think subscribe to us on itunes and, and our youtube channel and we'd love to hear from you thank you and god bless you